Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is a continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to learn 50 Advanced SQL problems covering diverse aspects such as select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and join, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called combine two tables and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the sixth video of the series called combine two tables and if I look at the companies this question has been asked in so Apple, Bloomberg, Amazon, Microsoft, Adobe, Google a number of times kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called person with two three different columns person id in last name and first name person id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table this table contains information about the id of some persons and their first and last names we are also given a second table called address with four different columns address id person id city and state address id is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table each row of this table contains information about the city and person of one person with the id is equal to person id we are asked to write a solution to report the first name last name city and state of each person in the person table if the address of the person id is not present in the address table report null instead order of the result does not matter okay so let's go through this example so here we have very two persons following addresses in the address table and we need for every person in the person table the first name last name city and state so for person id 1 that is alan wang do we have a address in address table since in address table we only have addresses for person id 2 and 3 so we do not have address for ellen wong so here the city and state column should be null and null for bob alice since the person id 2 is available in address table so here we can have new york city and new york so that is what we have in our output so we learned in sql 50 series that whenever the language of the question is for every person in a person table right so that means you need to keep everything from the person table and you also need in our output a columns from another table that is it is an example of an outer join that you keep the information from the table that you have one of the tables and then you reach out to another table to get information from that so this question can be solved using the left outer join or in short what we call left join so from the table called person because we need to keep every person in the person table let's ls this as p left join that is you reach out to the address table address aliased as a and which column we are going to join these two tables on since we have person id in the person table as well as the address table so p dot person id is equal to a dot person id right and also in our output what do we need we need the first name p dot first name then we also need the last name so p dot last name then we need the in our output city and state which comes from the address table so a dot city and a dot state okay now another thing that is mentioned here is that if the address of a person id is not present in the address table report null instead so do not be confused by this statement because actually how does this join work so here it says okay we are doing from person left join address on person id equal to person id so here it says okay person id it will go and try to find out an address table but if we it won't find anything so it will by default return nulls in the columns that are coming from the address table so you do not have to do anything extra right so don't get confused by this statement so let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we get in our output okay why did we get a runtime error because when we are joining we need to use the on clause that we missed okay on this and then let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get yeah so this is accepted our output let me just drag it to the left so this is easier for us okay uh, and if we look at our output right so our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question but we had to use
use our knowledge from the SQL 50 series that, okay, here we need to keep every person from the person table and reach out to the address table to get the city and state columns. So that is why we performed a left join. We use the person ID column because that is present in both of this and mean the same thing, right? Just being present with the same name in both the table does not guarantee that they have the same information. And yeah, and we return the columns that are required in our output. So this is how we do it. Let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.